I think in the last couple of years, Ottawa's really made its mark on the map in the music community. I think people are paying attention more to artists that are coming out of this city, which is really exciting. Anine Bojo, Amanda Rayom and Dishnikaz, Anishinaabe Ake and Donjiba, Anishinaabe Ake and Donji. Hi, my name is Amanda Rayom, and I'm a citizen of the Métis Nation of Ontario. I was born and raised, and I've lived most of my life here on unceded Algonquin Anishinaabek territory, also known as Ottawa. As a singer-songwriter, I'm deeply inspired by the land and the water. I'm always looking for those quiet moments where I can get away and connect. Coming down to the Kitchissippi River inspires me immediately. I can feel past generations here, and that feeling inspires me to write my songs. What I would want people to know about Ottawa is that Indigenous peoples were here long before contact, and we're still here. We're a living people with living culture and beautiful and important stories to tell. One project that I'm involved in, the International Indigenous Music Summit, brings together Indigenous musicians together from around the world. It's a moment in time where we get to be together, amplify each other's work, hold space for each other, make new connections as Indigenous people in the music community. Ottawa is the perfect place for this meeting because of its rich history. This traditional territory of the Algonquin people is a beautiful gathering place. It's been a gathering place for thousands of years, and it carries the medicine of our people. To host the summit here, to invite Indigenous artists from all over the world and bring them to unceded Algonquin territory, that feels really exciting to me.